Alright people, welcome back to the card review. So, I know there was another Burning Abyss monster that we need to look at, because they got three new monsters and then the Ritual Spell card from Malakota, but we have to look at this card before we can look at the monster, because it'll make more sense uh, when we look at the monster and you figure out uh, some plays that maybe people are planning on doing with that particular monster. So, for today, we are going to go ahead and look at the Ritual Spell that summons Malakota, so... We already did the review from Alakota, if you haven't seen it, uh, the link will be in the description. Go ahead and click there, go ahead and go and look at uh, the, the review from Alakota and the Lord of the Burning Abyss. But, we are looking at its ritual card. It's not just a simple ritual card, it doesn't just summon him, it has an extra effect too. So, we're going to look at its extra effect and determine, uh, you know, how good is it and whether, you know, Burning Abyss players might want to run it. Alright, so, this is the good and evil up in the Burning Abyss. I thought it was good and evil of the Burning Abyss. No, it's good and evil in the Burning Abyss. Alright, so, that makes sense. So, you know, Dante with a little bit of the, the, I think that's Dante. It looks kind of girly, but I think it's Dante. And I think, I'm not sure who that is. I think that's Malakota on the card art. So, kinda, it kind of reminds me of uh, Pot of Duality, the good and the evil. So, it makes sense. So, uh, it is a ritual spell card, of course, because the ritual summons Malakota, right? So, uh, this card is used in the Ritual Summon of uh, Malakota, another Lord of the Burning Abyss. You must also tribute monsters from your hand or field whose total level equals 6 or more. So, of course, when they're tributed, they are sent to a by the card effect, the card effect of good and evil in the Burning Abyss, so they will still go off. During your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, all right, you can banish this card in your graveyard, then send one Burning Abyss monster from your hand to the graveyard, add one burning its monster from your deck to your hand. You can only use this effect of good and evil. Why does it say? Now it says of the burning abyss. Is it of or in? I don't know. I'm gonna put of in, all right? Because now the, in the card text it says of, but in the title of the name it says in. But of course the card art we have that's the Spanish. So I don't know if it's. It, it looks like the Spanish. El bien y el mal en el abismo ardente. Well, en, that means in, you know? So if it was of, it'd be de. So I think it's good and evil in the burning abyss, not of the burning abyss. So I think the in is right, and I think they just translated the card text wrong. So the, pretty much you can only use this effect of this card only once per turn. So. Yes, it's a simple, it's a ritual summon. Yes, that's that's the first part. We will not care about that. We care about the second effect. The second effect that during your main phase, except the turn that this card is sent to the graveyard, you can banish this card and send one burning this monster from your hand to the graveyard and then search. And of course, the burning this monster you send from your hand to the graveyard is sent by a card effect. Of course, there's card effects, so, you know, just sent to the graveyard, period, actually, you know. You know, it's just sent to the graveyard, you know, bam, you'll get that effect. So, uh, you know, you're plusing, you know. You just pitch. Search, effect, do whatever. Summon from you know, summon from your deck. Summon from the graveyard. You know, uh, you know, b spin. I mean, bounce opponent's monster to remove from play for temporarily. Whatever the burning abyss monster that you pitch. You know, search during that phase if it's gone. Uh, you know, it's just burning abyss. So, uh, it's a fine plus. You know, it's totally fine plus. And you know, a ton of people are considering running this card. But what's interesting is that they're considering running this card, but they're not considering running the ritual Malakota. And you're probably saying like, okay, well, how the, you know, how the fuck does that work? You know, how the hell are you going to run this card, but not run Malakota, you know? This card has to be in the graveyard, you know, you know to, you know, use this effect that everybody wants to set, to use. So it has to be in the graveyard. You're probably wondering how that's how how is that gonna work? You know what are you gonna do? Love all will chain it, <laughs> like you know, because that's that's a card I could do. Love all will chain, but of course, one burning abyss don't run any you know level fours to make rank fours, and then two that level will chain would you know destroy a lot of the burning abyss that are some because you know it's not a burning abyss. So that's not what they're gonna do. So there's one other card that they're getting and. I'm going to be reviewing that card on Thursday, and this card, and their plan that they're doing will make a lot more sense. So, I'm going to have to call it here, and I know I'm leaving you guys to the cliffhanger, but we're going to come back Thursday, we're going to look at that card, and it's all going to make sense about the plan that people are planning to use with uh, Good and Evil in the Burning Abyss, and other cards as well, and other plays, you'll, you'll find out. Alright, so, 
Uh, tell me what you guys think about this card, just looking at it by itself, you know. Summoning Malakota, you know, with the ritual. Six or, six or more, so just two burning events. They will get, of course, get their effects, which is, you know, fine. Summoning Malakota, we already did a review on Malakota. And then, during your main phase, except the turn that this card is a uh, sensor grave, right? Banish it. Pitch a burning abyss, search a burning abyss. So, I'd say a fairly good card. Indeed. Burning abyss are just getting stronger and stronger. Alright, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Card Review. I apologize for leaving you guys with a cliffhanger. Like I said, Thursday, it will all make sense. Alright guys, so thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys Thursday with the last Burning Abyss card that we are looking at for now. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching.